this right here is your the Space Studio laptop. Uh, this is what's going to be controlling the video board. What are you going to be playing out uh, to the video board? So basically, what this requires is just a regular Cam 5 that plugs in on the back of the our mini rack. Which we'll patch that forward when we set everything up. Right here. Yeah. Doesn't really matter which one, except don't use the WAN one. Yeah. Okay. So, now, okay. Once we get everything installed on the rack, they'll just be plugging in out here. We won't ever even touch that. Correct. Okay. They will just be. And Phil said you were going to look at getting the uh, composites replaced for HDMI. Correct. I, I also sent that uh, email to uh, the PM and requested to change that into an HDMI here. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Thank you. Composite is very dated these days. Yeah, and all the laptops have HDMI built in. It just seems odd. Yeah, this one doesn't have. Yeah, most of them do that. <laughs> okay, so this is your software. Uh, turn it on and off. Once you come in here, uh, this is your the Space Studio software. This is what you're going to be using. Double click on that. Your software will open up. This is already came pre-built for you guys. For baseball, cheer, essentials, football, soccer, track. Did you get the licensing fixed this one? Yeah. You are on full, no expiration. Perfect. All that got that resolved. He fired it up this morning and all the temp licenses have expired. It's oh. been sitting in the box for nine months. Oh. Yeah, so. Okay, once you come in here, first thing you want to make sure is uh, check the status. You want to get green all the way around. So if there's something wrong, uh, normally this is, if this is red, it will give you an error. If what's red? This the so status. Right here? Below, yes. Yeah. Okay. If this is red, mm -hmm. It will give you okay. There's something wrong. So just click on it, and this will pop up. Okay. It will give you okay. Something's wrong with either the one of the players, my computer, or something else. It will give you the error. Will okay. it indicate that the power to the actual board is down? No, it will not uh, let you know that the power to the board is. It's only related to the mini rack. Okay, thank you. So, oh, basically, we just need to be on green all the time. Okay. Once you come in here. This little window, it, it's just a monitor, it's a confidence monitor of what's going out to the board. So if you go into football, I already downloaded one. Chico logo, that's a logo playing out to the board. All these came pre-built. Uh, I'll show you how to load one into it already. Yeah, I already tried to do it and I couldn't because it, it, it wouldn't read that file type that was on the desktop, so you ah. have to show us how. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just, uh, I didn't save it on the content folder, but I'll show you how to, how to do that. Okay. Uh, creating buttons. To create uh, or load files, go to this little uh, pencil over here. Okay. This is your content studio. This is how you load any any type of content, uh, any videos or anything like that that you want to load to our processor. So you come in here, uh, hit the new. You say you want to create a new one. Go to display and select the full screen one. So you want to create to the full screen. Hit next. This will pop up. Okay. Okay. Let's say you want to load the file that. Uh, One of the other files you guys already made for us. Mm -hmm. What file format do you save them in? Uh, those are ABIs. ABIs. So that's standard. And Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Yeah. Okay. No. Those are already built. Uh, let's say you want to add. Hey. Uh, let's see, format, insert. Okay, here. Let's say you want to insert a video. What's if you have the video loaded onto the computer itself, it's going to ask you, where's my video at? Mm -hmm. So just go ahead and I'm just going to use this, what's loaded on the computer itself. Sure. So click on this one, hit open. And just hit import. Okay, and now it will. I'm I'm just building it right now. You have to give it a name of the file that you want to pay. So once it's built, ready to go, hit the save button, and it's gonna ask you, okay, where do you want to save it? 
we want to save it on the content folder DMP 8 video dash 1. Okay. And just give it a name. Okay, so, so um, you're, 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 what is it? Wow. Okay, that's cool. I just want to make sure why we're in there. Nice. Video. Thanks, John. Hit save. So now it's saved. It's now you want to play it out to the board. Mm -hmm. So you come back in here. Mm -hmm. You can select any one, uh, any tab. Doesn't really matter which one. Okay. If you want to create a new tab, all uh, you could do is right click on it. Right click. A new page. Okay. You want to add a new page on the bottom. So each that tab has, right there has a different page now. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna delete that page. So each tab could have multiple pages. And how do you create a new tab? Like, let's say for field hockey? Field hockey. So you want to create, let's see, new buttons, new pages. Did you write New script and container. Works piece. Oh, here we go. So you go up here. Mm -hmm. You want to add a workspace page. And that way, there she one. is. Okay. And then to rename it, it's just rename the page. You could say hockey. Scripting container into that page. Okay. You can name it or just leave it like it is right now. You know? Hit save. And now you have this. Make it bigger. So now you can make that button that we just created. New button. Uh, this was called Wildlife. Okay. Hit the little plus sign. You want to make sure you select the 8,000 player because that's where your, the video is going to be loaded into. And you want to play on the full screen. And you want to play, hit that play, and you want to add that file. So you just have to go for, look for that file that you just created. I think it's called, there it is, Wildlife Video. And that's the content folder you're in. So, Correct. Okay. And hit save. Oh, now if I hit this, we should be seeing it out there. Cool. I wanted to see how the video works. So that would be the same thing, for instance, um, you could put in the football page that if Dr. Scott Hood had a short 15 second video. Advertisement. You can play his advertisement DVD. video. Wait, we take it. What about UBC? Um, the UBC contractor's video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We dump it into here and just do the whole process we just did. Yep. Okay. So I do have a question when it comes to like let, let's say video playback. Let's say we got somebody that's doing a video and they want to do a video playback. Um, let's say they're like a replay or something like that. Yeah, like an instant replay. How can they do that? Can they connect their camera to here and then do they have to download it real quick and I mean how does that work? That's the no, that would be the HDMI source. Okay. So it's just a matter of hitting a button which is full yeah, screen we'll video. Yeah, so there's it's supposed there. to be data on the road. So there's there a, that button's already created for SDI input. So what button's already created for? This the one green the the full screen video, that's live video. Okay, so, so if we had an HDMI right input, here yeah, it will have to hook up to that one. That'll patch to the data here that's supposed to patch up there or wherever it's coming from, where, where it runs to. So and then you can do will, live video. It will video by, bypass and all that. Uh, the video. Okay, and then question two we were told that the Dactronic software works really well with the Finish Links track timing system software. Um, we 
We're going to need to know how how they work together. Can you help us with that now, or do we need to wait till we have it installed? And Yeah, it needs to be set up. Okay, okay. Because it, it, it takes some time setting it up and make sure we're talking to each other. Okay. Uh, also, we need to verify what version of printing slings and, and high tech are you guys using. Okay. So it needs to be compatible with our system as well. So it's, I'm, it's compatible. I'm pretty sure we already checked with Chris okay. and all of them. But, okay, cool. Um, so as long as it's on the same... The latest version, we shouldn't have a problem. Okay. It's just setting it up and make sure everyone's talking to each other. There is a different setup to just for track itself. Okay. So this would not be used for track. You will have to hook up directly to this. So uh, high tech or finishing the running time mm -hmm. senses out to this right here. Okay. That way it will go out to the board. Okay. Okay. Do you have a track card on there that you can show us? That that's the track card. That's the track card. The okay. only thing is going to be worrying about is just the, the code. Uh, I was talking to one of the technicians back uh, in corporate. It says to use the first one, mm -hmm. but if that doesn't work, use uh, the last the last uh, one for finished things. Okay. So like I said, it's a matter of taking setting it up, make sure everything's here, hook it up, and get it ready. Okay. Okay. And you got, um, we'll have to call you guys when we get that. Yeah. So I'm ready to go. They're supposed okay. to be here tomorrow at 7, 8, 30. Yeah, but they're not hooking up. They're just going to lay out. Well, they're going to try and